Well, a new inspector general's report confirming the Biden administration had major problems staffing, equipping, and caring for thousands of Central American children at migrant shelters. Details this morning from Fox News national correspondent William Lajeunesse. What we saw today was unconscionable. El Paso, Texas, 2019. I was brought to my knees in tears. Our country has gone into a very dark place. When a Republican was in the White House, Democrats were quick to condemn conditions inside migrant shelters. These are the conditions that have been created by the Trump administration. Two years later, President Biden faced the same challenge, but without the criticism. One of the main reasons that you haven't heard from him is because they want to bury this story. Close it now! That story involves what child advocates called shockingly deplorable and horrific conditions inside a child detention center at Fort Bliss, Texas. An inspector general's report released last week confirms what whistleblowers alleged in 2021. Suicide attempts, spoiled food, extreme heat, and untrained, inexperienced staff, with some teens going months without seeing a case manager. Not only is it a fair comparison, but it reflects more poorly upon President Biden. President Biden promised a humane approach to immigration. We should not be locking people up. Yet he, too, incarcerates immigrants in what the ACLU last month called atrocious conditions at a center in New Mexico. Biden also made border fatalities a political issue in 2020. Yet the number of migrants dying crossing the border tripled on his watch, one of many border challenges most Democrats now overlook. We reached out to 10 congressional Democrats who denounced conditions under President Trump as inhumane. Two replied, both blamed Biden's problems on Trump, one calling the former president cruel. Both lawmakers, however, say they care, regardless of the party in power. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News.